noon, just for short conversation and prayer. And so we want to thank God for uh, for each and every one of you today. Uh, I'm going to ask you, Pastor Nishoni, if you'll pray for us uh, today, pray for our speaker, pray for uh, the prayer requests that are in the chat. Now, again, saints, even as our speaker is sharing a word with us, go ahead and share your prayer requests with us. Uh, we will take them and uh, we will certainly be praying for you uh, throughout the day. Pastor, would you pray for us? Yes, let's pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty, we give you thanks and praise for being God, God all by yourself. We thank you, Lord God, for that still small voice that whispers in our ear. Lord, we are just so grateful that you are ever present in our lives. And this morning, oh, Father God, you are fully aware of all the prayer requests. Father, I haven't seen them all, but God, you know all of them. You know those that are in need of your comforting touch this morning because they're grieving. Father, you know about Sister M who is going through something right at this very moment in time. The request just came in, oh Lord God. But Father, we know that while we are just receiving the request, you were there. You knew about it even before it took place. So we just ask you even now to intervene in that situation for your glory. We ask, oh, Father God, that you'll show up with might and power for your children that are on this pray prayer platform this morning that are seeking you to come intervene and give them a breakthrough. Father, some are sick. Some are in need of you to show up in their varied uh, space, whether it's a workspace or a school space, oh, Father God, or any other space. And God, we know that you're able. Father, today's consecration day. We ask, oh, Father God, that you will empty us, all of us, of anything that is unlike you. Fill us with the Holy Spirit, oh, Father God. And Lord, I pray that you will move with might and power and that you will have your way in our lives today as you consecrate us afresh to you, oh, Lord God Almighty. Father, in a special way, I want to lift up before you our speaker for this morning. Uh, Dr. Baptiste, you know him by name and by nature, oh, Lord God Almighty. I pray even now, oh, Father God, that you will pour out your spirit afresh without measure on him. I pray, oh, Father God, for a seven portion anointing. I pray, oh, Father God, as he sits to, uh, as he comes to give your word today, oh, Lord God, when he opens his mouth oh father god that we will not hear his voice but oh lord god almighty that you will speak directly to each and every one of our hearts and lord i pray that all those who will receive this message as leftovers in the youtube oh father god that they too will be blessed father i pray even now for a special refreshing on every ear that will hear oh lord god almighty I pray that his message to us this morning will take deep root in our hearts I pray even now for his family, O oh Father God, and as you bring him forward today, I pray, O oh Father God, that he may not be seen, but you and you alone will be seen, Lord God Almighty, and that you will have your own way today for your glory and for our good. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you again, family. We just want to uh, remind you again, family, that today is our prayer and fasting. And uh, at noon central time, we come together for just a few minutes uh, to pray in the middle of the day and to have a short conversation uh, as we prepare for the closing of the day with prayer meeting. Again, welcome to Morning Matter. If this is your first time, uh, we are glad that you're here. Please uh, connect with us. There's a connect card that will be uh, in the chat in a minute or so. Uh, go ahead and connect with us. And every message that you hear in the morning, uh, you can go back to our YouTube channel and you can find that message. Uh, not only so you can um, uh, hear it again, but so you can share it with someone. We are so glad that you're here. I, I am excited today about our speaker today. Uh, I, I came not just with a plate to eat the bread today. I came with a bucket because uh, I know I know that he is going to bless our hearts today. Uh, Dr. Philip Batiste is, uh, I believe, across the North American division, in fact, maybe across the world church, one of the most sought after communicators, uh, leadership trainers. Uh, he currently serves as uh, Secretary Treasurer for ASI Adventist Layman Service Industries. Uh, he has served as a missionary uh, for the General Conference in Africa. He served in the East Central African Division, uh, but he is just an energetic um, Every time I listened to him was just blessed. So I know that there is a blessing for us today. He is married. 
uh, father to a son, uh, PJ and a daughter, and uh, just an awesome man of God with a word from God for us today. And uh, we just want you to help me uh, to welcome to the morning manor table this morning, uh, Dr. Philip Batiste. Doc, we're glad that you're here. Uh, we turned the time over. For the ability to receive God for us this morning again. Welcome uh, to Morning Manor. The time is now yours. Thank you so much, uh, my pastor and Pastor Nashoni, for the kind invitation. It's great to be here with you this morning. Uh, I'm excited to be here this morning. My heart is strangely warm. My soul soars like an eagle. And if I were to try to express in words just how happy I am to be here, vocabulary-wise, I think I would be poverty-stricken. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be here with you today. And uh, excited to see so many on this prayer line. Uh, what a humongous blessing it is to see so many here today. And so um, I'm I'm truly excited to to see you all here today. Um, and uh, you, you know uh, it's 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 incredible. Uh, God promises to do amazing, fantastic things when we pray when we come together. And we pray he promises to do exceedingly abundantly above what we can ask, what we can think of, or what we can desire. And I'm grateful today um, for that promise. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. Are you able to be on camera? I'm not sure if you intended to be on camera, but your camera is not on. I, I can't be on camera right now. I'm so sorry. But I will um, definitely... Um, I, I, I'll definitely um, do my best here. Um that's fine. So, that's fine. Yes, yes, yes. So um, let me begin like this. Um, the lights go dim, and there we wait in breathless anticipation. A screen rolls down in the background. A scene appears. See the azure blue skies, dotted hills, and in the foreground, a range of bony brown mountains. Camera pans left uh, in the distance. Uh, a stranger appears. He's dressed in scarlet and gold, two scrolls under his arms. He makes his way, he winds his way down that steep precipitous path leading from Jerusalem to Jericho. Suddenly, whispering is heard. Wait, listen. Now the robbers plunge from their hidden den. They swoop down on the unsuspected stranger. They kick him in the shins. They strip him of his clothes. They leave him bleeding and wounded by the side of Jericho Road, and they take away his money bags. The camera freezes. Who are these robbers? Are they just some young boys looking for some spring break thrills, or are they urban young men that have been hardened by the life of the city? Well, whoever they are and whatever else you might want to say about them, their philosophy of life is clear. They say, what's yours is mine. I'll take it. Uh, what do they say? They say, what's yours is mine. I'll take it. The camera resumes. Uh, another stranger steps into the picture. He's dressed in all white. Uh, two scrolls under his arm. He makes his way, he winds his way down that steep precipitous path leading from Jerusalem to Jericho. Suddenly, a cry is heard. Help! Please, somebody help! He pauses, he looks. His pupils are question marks. Should I go or should I stay? I mean, after all, you can't just stop and help anybody now. I mean, suppose this man on the ground is merely faking, merely pretending to lure me off the main road so I too can be robbed. I mean, doesn't the Bible say be wise as serpents and harmless as doves? I mean, you 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 gotta be wise in this world. You you can't just stop and help anybody. So uh, what should I do? Maybe, you know, I mean, I, I'm on assignment. I mean, I've got, you know, hospital visits to make. I've got board meetings to chair. I've got, you know, all kinds of uh, important duties to attend to. Uh, but maybe when I get down to Jericho, I'll call 911. Uh, the camera freezes. Um, who is this man in white? Uh, some call him the priest. Others call him the Levi. It doesn't matter what you call them. Their philosophy of life is clear. They say, uh, what's mine is mine. I'll keep it. 
what do they say? They say, what's mine is mine. I'll keep it. Uh, the camera resumes. Uh, another stranger steps into the picture. He and his trusty old borrow, they make their way. They wind their way down that steep precipitous path leading from Jerusalem to Jericho. But this time, when the cry goes out, help, help, please, somebody help, the cry falls on sympathetic ears. He jumps down off of his donkey. He swoops down on the unsuspected stranger. But this time, he actually takes uh, uh, some some balm and, 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 and puts um, some ointment on his wounds, and then he bandages them up, and then he picks them up, puts clothes on him, and gives him some food and puts him on his own donkey and takes him all the way down to Jericho. He checks him in at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel at Jericho, and uh, he puts his credit card down, and he says, listen, when I when I come this way again, I'll take care of all the charges. He he pays for a personal, uh, you know, in-home care nurse to, to take care of him, and he said, this is my brother. Take care of him, please. The camera freezes. Who is this man on a donkey? If the situation had been reversed, this this uh, brother would have probably spat in his face for the Jews and the Samaritans did not get along. But uh, who is this man? Well, some call him the good Samaritan, but it doesn't matter what you call him. His philosophy of life is clear. He says, uh, what's mine is yours. I'll share it. He says, what's mine is is yours. I'll share it. Three philosophies of life. The philosophy of the robbers that say, what's yours is mine, I'll take it. The philosophy of the priests and the Levite that say, what's mine is mine, I'll keep it. And that golden philosophy of the good Samaritan that says, uh, what's mine is yours, I will ever share it. Question is, what's your philosophy of life today? As you approach through life, as you walk down the Jericho roads of life, if you come, come across people that are in need and hurting, what's your philosophy of life today? I'm so glad that uh, Jesus, as he saw a world in the JR situation, the Jericho road situation, as he saw a world, planet Earth, bleeding on the side of the universe, ravished by sin, that, you know, he could have stopped and just looked like the priest and Levi, but instead he stopped and he stayed, he stooped down from his throne in glory, and he stopped, and he stayed, and he came as a baby, uh, wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger, but I'm so glad that he didn't stop there, for he grew up, and he lived a life of perfect service, and he healed the sick, and he cleansed the leopard, and he opened blind eyes, but I'm so glad he didn't stop there, that, 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 that after he healed the sick and opened blind eyes, and, you know, he, he had disciples follow him, that, that they nailed him to a cross, and they hung him up, and he was hung up for my hung-ups, and he paid for my escapade, and by his stripes we are healed, but I'm so glad that he didn't stop there. He he, he was buried in a tomb, but early Sunday morning, he got up from the grave with all power in his hands, and I'm so glad he didn't stop there because uh, he's gone back to heaven, but soon and very soon, he's going to burst through the clouds, and Jesus is coming again, and he's calling each one of us to go on and tell somebody about Jesus. Jesus, uh, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus, my my emancipator and my best friend. Jesus, uh, the one whose philosophy of life, whose ultimate philosophy was, what's mine is yours. I will ever share it. I want to know today, is it your desire to make this philosophy your philosophy. Can you imagine how different our world would be if people had that philosophy? If instead of having a, a selfish philosophy of what's 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 yours is mine, I'll take it, or instead of having a, a hoardish philosophy of what's mine is mine, I'll keep it. If everyone had this golden philosophy of Jesus that says what's mine is yours, I will ever share it. Can you imagine how different our life would be? Stories told of an ant and a grasshopper. The ant and the grasshopper were friends, and uh, they would hang out together. And uh, one day, um, you know, as the weather got nice and warm, the grasshopper noticed that the ant was going and just storing up food 
and the grasshopper asked the ant what it was doing, and the ant said, I'm storing up food for the winter. And so all summer long, the ant worked diligently to store up food for the winter, but the grasshopper played and frolicked in the mud and, you know, went to parties and had fun. And when it started to get cold uh, and the ice and snow began to come, uh, the story goes that the ant said to the grasshopper, uh, can, can, I mean, the grasshopper came to the ant and said, can I please have some of your food? Now, a grade three teacher was telling her students this story. And when she finished, she said to them, now you finish the story as a writing assignment. So the class began to write diligently and finish the story. And later that night, she was grading their papers. And one kid said that the ant said to the grasshopper, no, no, never, never, uh, uh, uh. You'll never have any of my food. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, kids. And another said um, that the ant shared his food with the grasshopper. But halfway through the winter, the food ran out and they both died. <laughs> you know, kids. Uh, but little Timmy wrote something that touched that teacher's heart. Little Timmy said, the ant gave all his food to the grasshopper. The grasshopper uh, uh, lived. And the ant died. And at the bottom in child's crayons was a picture of Jesus and the cross. Don't you know that's what Jesus has done for us? He's given all so that we could live. He said, what's mine is yours. I will share it. And he gave his very life so that we can have eternal life. And if it's your desire to live like Jesus, to lead like Jesus, to be like Jesus, if it's your desire to say, What's mine is yours, I'll share it. And God, you've given us these precious three angels' messages. You've given us the precious truths of the Adventist message. You've given us the good news of the gospel. And I can't keep it to myself. I'm going to go on and tell somebody. Tell somebody about Jesus, the baby born in a manger. Tell them how he lived a life of perfect service. Tell them how he cleansed the sick and, and healed the leopard and made the blind eyes walk again. But don't stop there. Tell them how he uh, was was crucified, but don't stop there. Tell them how he got up from the tomb. And because Jesus got up, you can get up from whatever situation you're in today, from whatever illness you're in today, from whatever a feeling of downness and depression, because Jesus got up today, you can get up. Oh, uh, go on and tell them that there's hope today because Jesus is coming back. There's hope today. There's a future today. There's life today. Go on and tell them that he says in John 10, 10, I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly, not just an abundant life here now, but as many as receive him to them gave he power to become sons and daughters of God. Go on and tell somebody that lost a loved one. Uh, uh, I know I lost my dad during COVID. It was a very difficult time, but go on and tell somebody that he's promised that the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we that are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Go on and tell somebody that there's hope today. There's life today. There's power today because of Jesus. And so as we bring this message to a close, all those of you that want to make this philosophy your philosophy. You want to say, Lord, I want to say what's mine is yours. I'll share it. And, you know, I recognize that our life is God's gift to us, but what we do with it is our gift to God. And if you want to make a commitment today to not only say what's mine is yours, I'll share it with your friends, with your family, with your world, with the gospel, with the good news of Jesus. But more than that, you want to say, uh, I want to give my life to you, Jesus. I want to say, what's mine is yours. I'll share it. I'm, I'm giving my life to you so that you can take full control of my life and that you can make me and mold me after your will. Spirit of a living God, fall afresh on me. Make me, mold me, melt me, break me, and then fill me so that I can be lifted up and Jesus can be lifted up in me. And if Jesus is lifted up in me, you will draw all men 
and women unto you. If that's your desire today, just raise your hand right where you are that God would see it. Heaven would record it. Amen. I see those hands. I see those hands. Father God, we're grateful for your word today. We're grateful for the encouraging power of your word. And we pray that you will equip and empower us to be able to live our lives with this golden philosophy that says what's mine is yours. I'll share it. We give you our lives today. We give you our future. We give you our plans. We give you our all. We give you our families. We give you our finances. We give you our our, our, our goals, our hopes, our dreams, our aspirations. Uh, we recognize that our dreams are great, but your dreams are greater. But we recognize that if we could just catch a glimpse of a dream you've been dreaming for us, uh, we will uh, truly be blown away because when you dream, constellations are born. When you dream, flowers blush in technicolor when you dream. So we pray that you'll just help us catch a glimpse of a dream that you've been dreaming for us. And we pray, oh God, that you'll equip each one of us on this call today to be able to make this philosophy, our philosophy, what's mine is yours, I will ever share. And we pray that when we do this, when you come, you'll say to each one, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've shared the good news of the gospel. You've shared bread with the hungry. You've shared kindness with those that you've met on your way. And you've shared your life with me. You've let me lead and guide your life. Welcome into the joy of the Lord. Make this our prayer and make this our experience. We pray in the awesome and precious name of Jesus. Let everyone say, Amen. 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 What a word. What a word. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that word. Thank you for that word this morning. Um, you know, the word, the word is what will be your philosophy going forward? Not just today, not just today, but going forward. Uh, yeah. Would you say what your take it? Uh, would you say what's mine is mine, keep it. Uh, would you be like Christ? Oh, what is those that I share it? Uh, I know we are sharers. We are all sharers today. So I pray that by the great God, because you are a sharer uh, and you will give and give uh, uh, grace you're gonna get and you're gonna just link this message uh with someone today they will be they will be blessed thank you and uh dr baptiste for uh the word this morning thank you for being with us sharing with us encouraging us uh we are more we are more encouraged to be sharers uh, and givers uh, because we see the beautiful picture that you have painted of our Lord and Savior. Uh, thank you. Thank you for sharing the gift of communication that God has given to you uh, with us this morning. I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Floyd, even though I don't know Pastor, she has birthday, I haven't seen any. I uh, don't want to miss a birthday. We celebrate birthdays. So today, if it's your birthday and anniversary, we do celebrate you. Uh, we do want to celebrate you and give uh, our, 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 our gift to you this morning. If not, I'm going to ask Pastor Floyd, if you can close for us in prayer, please uh, cover the man of God in prayer and his family and his ministry this morning. Pastor Floyd. There are two birthdays today, at least. The two birthdays. Okay. Okay. I missed those. Okay. Share, share the birthdays with us and pass, celebrate the birthdays for us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the word that came forth this morning and um, in, with clarity. Thank you for um, using our speaker uh, to remind us that your philosophy needs to be ours, which is that what is mine is yours. You did not think it robbery to be equal with God, but you um, chose to come, live, and die for us so that we can live the life that you have promised us. So we thank you, we thank you for the word uh, this morning. May we, may we continue to operate on that philosophy for the rest of our lives. We pray that you continue to bless our, our speaker, uh, Pastor uh, Baptiste and his, um, and, and his family continue to be with him as he ministers um, in North America and around the world continue to use his voice to make your gospel plain. 
and watch over him, we pray. We, we pray for those who are celebrating uh, birthdays today. We ask that you that you will bless them and and uh, may they may they may your face shine upon them today. Um, may they be ever grateful for the life that you um, have given to them. And as they celebrate today, may they may they thank you for your goodness throughout their lives. And may their philosophy as well be what is mine is yours. May they share your goodness. May they share your gospel. Bless us all today as we face the challenges of this day. Be with us. Go before us. Guide us, we pray. And give us opportunities to live out this philosophy of sharing what we have with others. In Jesus' name we pray today. Amen and amen. And amen. Thank you. Thank you, Alden, to again to our celebrants. We wish you a blessed day. We thank God for uh, for you as you celebrate uh, birthday today. That's uh, Sister Walter's granddaughter, Alyssa Lightburn, and Sammy Joe celebrating their birthday today. Blessings, blessings, family. Have a wonderful day. Uh, let us go out. Let's share what God has given us and be a blessing to the world uh, today. Blessings to you, everybody. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, everyone.